I've made this video to support the NHS and all of its hard-working, amazing staff this winter. So let's talk flu jabs. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about flu vaccines, but this is not a normal Abraham the Pharmacist video. It's like a journey video, but you'll see. Please share this video with friends and family because you could potentially save a life. Flu and influenza are the same thing. In the UK on average it kills 8,000 people per year. Last year it killed 15,000 people, which is why Public Health England collaborate with me to spread the word. Now flu isn't dangerous for everyone. For healthy adults under the age of 65, it can be a very unpleasant illness which lasts a week or two, with symptoms like extreme tiredness, weakness, chills, fever, joint pain, and many more. Flu is most dangerous for people in risk groups. So who's in the group? Over 65s, pregnant women, people living in residential homes, and certain medical conditions like asthma, COPD, diabetes, and many more. The full list is in the description below. Which reminds me, it also includes children. But why children? Let's ask Jane, a practice nurse who knows the stuff when it comes to flu jabs. So Jane, why should children get the flu vaccine? Well, the flu vaccine helps protect children from what can be a really unpleasant illness. But more importantly, it can help stop the spread of the virus to vulnerable friends and family. That's amazing. So the flu vaccine also helps stop the spread of the flu. Exactly. And if patients in the at-risk groups get flu, they have a higher probability of it leading to serious complications and even death. So this is why the at-risk population are entitled to the free NHS flu vaccine. Flu leads to thousands of GP visits and tens of thousands of hospital stays each year. So getting the vaccine really supports the NHS, especially during the busy winter period. Two questions I get asked very occasionally by patients. Question one, how effective is the flu vaccine? And question two, what are the other ingredients in the flu vaccine? Now I'm going to answer those for you now. The truth is the flu vaccine works better in some years than others. Across all age groups in 2015 to 16, the vaccine prevented 52.4% of flu cases. And in 2016 to 17, it prevented 39.8% of flu cases. The flu virus changes and it's very difficult to predict. Now because of this, this year there will be two different types of flu vaccines for patients. So let's see what they are. So those aged 65 and over will be offered the trivalent flu vaccine, which protects against three strains of flu. It also contains something called an adjuvant. Now if you're thinking, what's an adjuvant? It basically helps strengthen and lengthen the immune response to a vaccine. And these have been shown to work better in older adults. Babies, children and adults up to 64 years old will be offered the quadrivalent flu vaccine which means it will protect against four strains of flu virus. Vaccines are currently the best defence we have against the flu virus which is why Public Health England and the medical community all agree that if you're eligible to get the free NHS flu jab then get vaccinated. Question 2. Yes, vaccines have small minute quantities of ingredients which are found naturally in the body. For example, many vaccines contain salts based on sodium and potassium which regulate the acidity of the vaccine. Other ingredients help improve the immune response or to preserve and stabilize the vaccine. But again, these aren't harmful and most of them are completely normal for our bodies. Just like everything in life, vaccines do carry some risks, but these risks are all very minor. Redness or swelling at the injection site, a minor fever, nothing serious. Reactions to the actual vaccine are very rare. Thank you to everyone for coming on this journey with me. I hope this video has helped explain the importance of getting the flu vaccine. Please don't forget to share on this video to friends and family. You can get the free NHS flu jab at almost all pharmacies and all GP surgeries. If you've got a busy schedule, then not to worry. Just pop into your local pharmacy. They don't usually need appointments and can give you your vaccine straight away. See you next Monday. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.